like going crazy. He's screaming, both sidelines, get somebody out here, get somebody out here. And you know, by the time the players wander out in the field and they see what's going on, it's just like, wow. Lawrence, the guy who made the hit, felt worse than probably Joe at the time. LT actually did not say anything to me on the field, but I will tell you this. I remember everything that happened that night. I remember Bubba Tire coming out and getting right here in my left ear. I remember telling Bubba, do me a favor, please, call my mom, tell her I'm okay. Miss Taylor, over Carson, oh, Lammy, oh. and you see the right knee, the right foot, and I knew that something was really bad, but Lawrence Taylor leaped to his feet and beckoned over to the Redskins bench, get your medical team in here quickly. It could be, and you hate to think of it, he could have heard a snap. I remember Joe Gibbs coming up and looking at me. Joe was looking at me. And, and this is the truth, this is the conversation. Joe looking down at me, he goes, Joe, for six years we've been together. Joe, you've meant so much to this football team. Joe, this is a heck of a mess you've left me. And we both started to laugh. I mean, it, 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 was a, it was just a light moment in a very tense situation. Then they pop me on the stretcher. They start to wheel me out of the stadium and I stop them because Harry Carson is supposedly gonna retire. And all the Giants were standing off of my left side. And, and I And then when they wheeled me out of that stadium, all those people stood up and gave me a personal ovation like I'd never heard before in my life. And, and right then and there, uh, really, whatever Joe Theismann was, died. And it was a rebirth of someone who hopefully has learned to understand and appreciate people a lot more. And, and that really, that was a defining moment in my life.